British Central Broadcast UK. This is London, and here are today's headlines. <coughs> said the Labour Party leader in a stunning revelation on this week's BBC Question Time. Buckingham Palace has announced that a three-week-old boiled chicken's carcass will be presented to Prince Charles before his royal coronation and then be worn henceforth in place of his crown. And whilst on the subject of royalty, a sewer rat has won the London Sewer Turd Surfing Championship, much to the delight of his wife who has given up wine for January. The southeast of England will now move into Tier 12 lockdown, and Elon Musk has invented the overt glove. And in good news for Wales, they will be ending all Covid restrictions after it was discovered that the dribble coming from the right-hand side of Mark Drakeford's mouth is the cure for coronavirus and impotency. A well-hydrated Welsh First Minister is expected to stand above Cardiff Castle, lean over the wall where passers-by can hope to catch a drop of Drakeford, Covid and Viagra-beating spittle so they can go about their daily lives while the Welsh return to normal life. It is expected that Welsh men will walk around with great impressive bulges for at least a fortnight until Drakeford's dribble wears off. A recently discovered Albert Einstein journal, which contains his revised theories on matters such as relativity and gravity itself, is expected to fetch 36 pence at auction, and the fossilised remains of Joe Biden's school report is to be exhibited in the Natural History Museum. And on the subject of antiquities... Di Evans from Talbot Green has shocked the archaeological world after he dug up King Arthur's crisp packet in a dig in his back garden that is adjacent to the local recycling yard. This significant archaeological discovery, which bears the Latin words Smith's Square Crisps, has been frozen in carbonite and sent to Jabba the Hutt's palace. Gary Lineker's autobiography called my Life in a Mountain of Bogies Chewing a Hamster's Hemorrhoid is expected to win the prize for Sports Book of the Year held in his cousin Eric's garage with Lineker and his uncle Eric in attendance. And finally, the weather. The weather will be mostly outdoors up until Thursday when it likes to come in and have a nice cup of coffee in a cafe near its house. Thank you and good evening. <laughs>